Today in this video, you will learn about Find and Replace in Excel. Now you are possibly aware with this feature from Office applications. So you will be questioning, is it even worth doing a video on Find and Replace? Is not it super straightforward? I assume you are going to be amazed when you see this video complete. Let's start. You can see this dataset. First question, how do we get the find dialog box? We can go to home, find and select and click find from here. Or we use the shortcut key Ctrl plus F. You are possibly aware with the find functionality, not just from Excel, but also from other office applications. So I am not going to drag you with that. What I just want to show you some additional options that can come in really convenient in Excel. And they are hidden under this option tab. So if you are looking for something, let's say I am looking for for home. I can decide if I want to look for it within the sheet or within the entire workbook. So by setting this to workbook, it goes through every single tab and it looks for the name that you type in there. You can search by row or by column. That just decides the search direction. So if it should go this way or if it should go this way, this part looking can come in handy, especially if you are looking for something inside comment. So let's say I want to look for Farhan inside comments. I just have to switch this to comments and I'm going to switch this as well and click on find all or find next. The advantage of find all is that it gives you the list of all the occurrence and find next just jump to the next one. So there is a comment here and it has my name in there. There were two other options in there which was formula and values. If I had this on formulas and I want to look for Farhan and I click on find next, it goes through every tab in the workbook and it does not find there because Farhan only exists inside the comment. So let's say instead of Farhan, I am going to look for Rohan and I am just going to look for it on this sheet and not in comments but in formulas and I am going to click on find all. This gives me all the occurrences that Rohan has occurred on this sheet. The good thing is this, I can press Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow to highlight everything here. And it does not only highlight it here, but notice it also highlighted it on my sheet. So. If I close this, I can see all of these are highlighted and I could change the color of the cells to yellow or to any other type of formatting that you like. Another thing that is very important, if you are searching and replacing something and you also want to change the formatting. Let's go back to our dialog box. 
but this time let's jump to the replace dialog box directly. So what's the shortcut for that? It's Ctrl plus H. But here let's replace Rohan with Farhan. But instead of just replacing the words here, let's also change the formatting. So on the right hand side, we have the ability to decide the format that we want. Click on format here. I am going to fill and I am going to select new color and go with that. Now I am just going to click replace all for everything that's on the worksheet and it made 14 replacements. This part of searching and replacing for specific formatting can come in really handy. For example, let's say that your company decided to change its logo color and you need to replace the colors that you used before with the new colors. So let's say in this case I have this blue color used here. I am using it on a lot of tabs and I need to replace these with a light yellow color. Here I can use find and replace to do that. I am going to back with Control plus H. Since I am not looking for specific words. I am just going to delete them from here but instead I want to look for a specific formatting. I am not exactly sure what type of this blue color is. So I am going to click on format and say choose format from cell. So I can just Click on this. I picked up that format and decide the format that I want to have instead. Let's go with this lighter yellow. On this sheet, I am going to replace it all. It made 22 replacements. It did not touch these and it did not touch this. Why? That's because it picked up all the attributes of the cells. It was not just the color that it picked up, but it picked up the number formatting. So notice this one has percentage and not number. This one is bold. So it also has a different format to this. This means that if you just want to change the color and not take a look at the other aspect of the cell, then make sure that you actually just pick up that specific color from the dialog box. So. Let's go and check what color blue this actually is. I'm just going to go to the fill color here. Go to more colors under custom here. I need this code. So that's the RGB. Let's memorize this or copy this code and let's go back to our find and replace. I am going to go Ctrl plus H and the first thing I am going to do is to completely clear this formatting here. Now I am going to go to format and pick up that color that we saw. So under custom let's type in that code or paste here. 
this code. Now let's do this for the entire workbook. Click on replace all. That looks through every single tab and whatever it found that color, it replaced it with the new color. So you see Excel find and replace can do a lot more than just search for text. I can also search and replace formatting, which can come in really handy too. Let me know in the comments if you have used this aspect before and if you like this video, click on thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to find more informative video. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.